Hey, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Today we're checking out Machine 1.8 and the time-stretching, pitch-shifting parameters and features and functions. Now, this is something that a lot of people have been asking for. This is offline time stretch, so I want to show you how it works. And we're going to test it out, stretching some stuff up and down and seeing what kind of artifacts and stuff we get. So, let's check it out. Um, so, my... My tempo is at 93 for my project. So let's say I'm working in a project and I want to work with something that's, let's just say, 100 BPM. So. So let's say we want to work with that sample. Now, you can get to the time stretching. It's in the same sample edit menu as truncate and everything else. So you can get to it, of course, from the software. If you go into the sample edit and then you go over here to the menu and go down to the stretch. But you can also, of course, if you're working directly from the hardware, you can just press sampling and you'll be on the edit, go to the edit tab and you'll see stretch or, you know, wherever you're at. You can be on truncate and you can go find stretch and, and all that stuff. So you just go through the parameters, you'll see stretch, then you'll see settings. As soon as you hit settings. It'll pop up the little window for you, and then it pops up all the same information on the controller. So you can see you got your tune and your formant correction. That's for your pitch shifting. And then you got beat mode and free mode. And you also got auto detection. You can see that it's it's detecting that my sample was 8 bars, so it's, it's detecting that's 100 BPM. Now you can see the new BPM. You got the source BPM, which is going to be 100. The new BPM is going to be 93 because by default, it's going to match whatever your project is set at. Now, you can set your new BPM to whatever you want, but a lot of times if you're time stretching it and you're already working on a project, then you want your sample to match the project you're working on. So that's what it's going to default to, but you can put it to whatever you want. You also got stretch length, so you can go in and stretch it to any number of lengths from 1 16th all the way up to 8 bar triplets. So... Um, then you also have free mode. So if you like working this way where you just want to change it by a percentage, like say you want it to be 150% or 50%, 75%, whatever, if you want to work that way, you can do that as well. So we're just going to do the default right now. We have it on, um, it's 100 BPM. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and stretch it to 93 BPM. We're going to see what it sounds like. So you can see when you got all your settings how you want it, you can either click apply in the software or you can just press the button where it says stretch. And then now it's done. So it's pretty quick. So it sounds pretty good. Let's do something a little bit more drastic so we can kind of, you know, really mess with it so let's see I undo that let's pull up my settings again and let's say I want my new BPM let's change it let's put it on something like let's go down I don't know 56 so let's say we want to for some reason we want to go from 100 to 56 so click stretch it's done So you slow that thing all the way down. You're not getting none of that metallic, you know, grainy stuff that it's a lot of times you can get with um, time stretch parameters. So we'll undo that. Let's go back in. And this time I'm going to go up. So let's go to, let's do two something. We'll do 219. So let's say we want it on 219 again. Press stretch. It's done. <laughs> So, not bad. Go ahead and undo that. All right, now we're back to the original 100 BPM. Now, you also got some other stuff you can do in there. Let's say you want to go in and um, say you just want to change the pitch. So, what I, what I suggest when you want to do just pitch shifting and you don't want to do any time stretching and you don't want to have to deal with setting the, the BPM and everything, I just change this and put it to free mode. And I leave my speed to 100%. So now you can change the tune. We can go up or down. Let's say we want to go up plus five. See what that sounds like. All right. So 
So that's plus five. Um, kept it at the same speed. I didn't want to change the speed, just wanted to change the pitch. I'll go ahead and undo that. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to go down. I'll take it down. Well, let's go six. Let's go negative six. And you can turn the format correct on or off. Just mess with that depending on your sample and seeing, seeing how it affects it for you. So we'll go ahead and click stretch. And now it's going to pitch it down for me. It's going to keep it at 100 BPM. <laughs> So not bad, not no weird artifacts or anything, pitch it down. I, I'm trying to do it drastically just so we can test it out. You know, a lot of times you'll probably be doing it not so drastic, but I want to test it out just so we can see what the quality is like. Then also you got, um, let's check out the, let's go back to beat mode. And we'll, we got our auto detect on, so it's detecting as a, a 100 BPM, new BPM 93. Let's say we want our new BPM to be 100. So basically we want to keep it the same, but we want to put it in four bars instead of eight bars. So let's see what happens there. All right, so let's go ahead and undo that. This time I'm going to go back in. We'll, let's do it to 93. And let's say we want it to be, say we want it to be two bars at 93 BPM. And you might be like, why would you want to do something like that? I mean, it's all about experimenting. A lot of times, especially if you, you know, when you're sampling and you don't have a perfect loop, sometimes you have a loop that's just under two bars or maybe it's just under four bars and you need to stretch it to you know four bars this allows you to do that because you can stretch it up or down um, in, in terms of lengths you know sometimes you just want to go in and stretch a certain part of a sample you want to stretch it to one sixteenth, whatever I mean it's really it's really up to you but as you can see it's pretty flexible and it's it's pretty fast even you know for on, offline and a lot of people were worried about you know how long it's going to take when you're doing offline time stress but as you can see it's really not it doesn't take long at all and the quality is pretty good so that's pretty much how you do it like i said you can do it from the hardware or from the software i just try to show you both ways remember you got to be on the edit tab you can go over there to your list and you can pull up the stretch see it right there you got your time uh time stretch and your pitch shifting so they're in the same menu and you can use them both together or you can use them separately it, it really doesn't matter you got beat mode which is going to do your auto detect then you got your free mode where you can just do it based on percentage or like i said beat mode you can do auto detect or if you don't want to auto detect and you know what the bpm of your sample is you can go ahead and put it in yourself tap tempo whatever you want to do and put it in that way but i find that it's pretty it, it works pretty much it works pretty well um if you've got your loop chopped or truncated to a you know like a four bar two bar one bar it really works pretty well in terms of automatically calculating your um tempo so it's pretty much up to you how you want to do it but it's there it's pretty quick so it's your boy st joe machine tutorials.com showing you machine 1.8 time stretching and pitch shifting if you got any questions of course let me know i'll see y'all later peace